Good morning, ESM. We've got a couple things to cover on today's show, starting with a discussion about National Hemp Day with Chloe Butchko. Then we'll move on to the junior class fundraiser with Jordan Sanson. More on that after news and announcements. On Monday, four children who went missing in a blizzard in western Alaska on Sunday were found alive and are currently being treated for severe hypothermia. The children, aged 14, 8, 7, and 2 years old, were found by ground searchers around 4.25 p.m. on Monday, and their parents have been notified and the children have been taken to a hospital. State troopers said they received a report at 6.25 p.m. local time on Sunday out of the community of Nunam Iqua in western Alaska. The children had not returned from a snow machine ride and were expected back at about 1 p.m. Helicopters from the Coast Guard and the Army National Guard, as well as search and rescue groups from neighboring villages, helped look for the children, but blizzard conditions pre presented a challenge. The Chinese coronavirus outbreak, which has spread worldwide, has killed over 420 people and infected over 20,000 people globally as it continues to spread throughout the world. The virus has been confirmed in more than 25 countries and other territories since it was first confirmed in Wuhan in December. The World Health Organization does not consider the outbreak to be a pandemic, but they also said that, the mask, that a mask is, quote, not enough, and they urge people to wash their hands very regularly. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Are you looking for something for that special someone this Valentine's Day? The Foreign Language Honor Society is selling flowers in the mornings and during lunch. The cost is $1 each and they will be delivered to your Valentine. A limited number will be sold, so buy early. All right, Chloe, so what this is This is Mr. Bly. Just wanted to let you guys know about an after-school event we got going on starting on February 12th. It's a Spartan Basketball Universe. Uh, guys will be competing in basketball challenges, about wrestling-themed events like the Royal Rumble, Survivor Series, WrestleMania, and all sorts of more. Um, okay, Chloe, so what exactly is hemp? And why is it so important? Well, I got fast facts to answer that. Um, though hemp and marijuana are under the same genus, they are not the same species. Hemp does not have enough THC to get you high. Hemp can, uh, hemp can also be made into many things, including houses, clothing, plastic, and can also be consumed. The Model T was the first Ford vehicle, and it was made with a plastic polymer exterior of hemp. When they took a sledgehammer to it, the sledgehammer bounced off and <laughs> whacked the poor guy in the face. Another cool fact about hemp is that it can filter water, and it only takes a little bit to keep the water clean and healthy, and it is also a natural pesticide, and it can also be used to make products to clean up our oceans. So have you heard about the sand shortage? Um, according to manufacturers, there will soon not be enough perfect sand to make concrete. Hemp can be used to make a stronger concrete that will last for 5,000 years and counting. And this concrete has been used before in the Merovingian bridges in France, built between 500 and 751 AD. You were still looking at the wrong camera. Good morning. Today we'll have a high of 40 degrees with some rain showers. On, on, Tuesday, sorry, on Wednesday, the rain should clear up and the temperature will cool down to 33. Thursday will warm up once more to 45 degrees and have a mixture of rain and snow. From Friday on, the temperatures will start to cool down with snow on Friday. Along with a high of 32, Sar along with a high of 32. Saturday will, won't snow but also will have temperatures in the mid-20s. Well, Sunday and Monday will also have some flurries and temperatures in the mid-30s. I'm Emily with your weather. Go ahead. On February 15th, the class of 2021 is hosting a Dime for Dollars fundraiser at Trappers 2 in Manoa. There will also be open mic performances from 4 to 8 p.m. If you are interested in um, performing an open mic performance, stop into Mrs. Brooks and B7 to sign up for a time. 
There, all, there will also be 50-50 raffles and raffle baskets being sold. The raffle baskets will also be sold during tonight's basketball game. All right, so thank you, Jordan. Uh, we hope to see you all there. And speaking of sports, let's kick it over to Lena. On Saturday, the NFL Awards were announced Lamar Jackson won the MVP award for the 2019-2020 season and was the second MVP to win it anonymously. Michael T Thomas won Offensive Player of the Year, Stephon Gilmore won Defensive Player of the Year, and Kyler Murray and Nick Bosa were Offensive and Defensive Rookie of the Year. Kalias Campbell won Walter Payton Man of the Year. In upcoming games, girls basketball plays against JD tonight at 5, and the boys basketball team has a big game against JD at 645. The theme for the game is pajamas, and the first 100 people will get a free slice, slice of pizza, so wear your 300 shirts. Go out and support the basketball teams. I'm Lena with sports. Alrighty, so I know I'm excited for this fundraiser because I believe I will be singing at this performance as long and as... And my brother, <laughs> my brother and his best friend Ryan are also going to be doing a little duet there, so we hope to see you there. Yeah, so that is all the time that we have today. I hope you learned a little bit about National Hemp Day. And maybe we'll even catch you at the open mic night supporting your junior class. From Amber, myself, and everyone here at Spartan News, have a great day.